Well, we're pleased to be joined now by David Beatty, the head coach of Kansas, who's going to tell us a little bit about the kind of young man the Eagles have in their six-round pick, Ja'Cory Shepard. And, Coach, tell us what it was like when you went to Ja'Cory and asked him to move from wide receiver to cornerback. How, how much did he take to that change? Well, he obviously took to it well, and I would love to tell you that I can take credit for that, but that, that, that decision was made before I got here. You know, I'm, I'm the new guy here, and that was done by a previous staff. But I, I was the one who recruited him back in the day. I was here with Coach Mangino and recruited him back in the day when he first got here. He's from uh, he's from Mesquite, Texas, a place called Foreign High School. And, you know, he's kind of been that overlooked guy his entire career. And I'll never forget the first day that he reported to our campus all the fields were locked, the gates were locked. I looked up, and this kid is throwing his ropes and his cones over the fence. And I'm talking about a metal spike fence. And he's jumping over there with his cleats on just to get on the field so he can work. And that's the type of kid he is. Well, tell us then, let's go back to, to recruiting him in high school. What was that process like? What was, what was the high school to Corey like? Oh, you know, it's, it is a very, very, very good high school in terms of uh, the type of coaching. It's a big 5A school right there in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. I mean, They've, they've been very, very good, and, uh, you know, he, he played alongside a, a bunch of division winners at that school. But, uh, you know, it was really fun recruiting him. And I think, you know, one of the big reasons that, that he is the way he is today is when you meet his family, his mom, his dad, his grandmother, who's, who's uh, really – she struggled through a couple of very rough illnesses in her life. And, man, she's kind of a, kind of a rock of that family and, and means a ton to him and, you know, I've kept in touch with that family through the entire time, even when I was gone to Texas A&M. You know, I've always stayed in touch with, with Corey. He's just one of those special kids that he's one of those guys that he's just going to outwork everybody, and those guys just seem to work out. So it sounds like it's, uh, you're going to be sad to see Ja'Cory go. I know you're happy that he's moving on to Philadelphia, but uh, it's going to be tough for you guys next year without him, huh? No doubt. You know, we, we, uh, obviously we're, we're new here, and we just came in from A&M, and, and it's been you know, a whirlwind, but – it would have been nice to have his services for one year here for sure. But, you know, I'm, I'm just ecstatic for him. And really I'm ecstatic for him that he went to such a great organization. I'm a big fan of Chip Kelly's and the staff that he's got there. And, you know, I couldn't be more happy for him. I just know that the energy that they have and you guys have at that, at that, that organization is something that's going to fit him well. And I just can't wait to see what Corey does because I think he'll strive there and Coach Kelly and the staff. All right. Well, we, we certainly hope so, and we appreciate you giving us the lowdown uh, on the young Ja'Cory Shepard, where he's come from. Best of luck next season, Coach. You bet, man. Y'all be good. Thanks a lot. Good luck. All right. Much more this weekend and all offseason covering this new Eagles draft class on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.